Hello everybody, welcome back to another mod preview. Today we have the great pleasure of showing off the multi-crop greenhouses pack. But before that, this video is brought to you by Doughboy2913 and Talger. Thank you for being farm barons. So the multi-crop greenhouse pack is intended to be released for all platforms over at the Giants Mod Hub and downloadable content menu, and it is going to be provided by GH66 Mods. And GH66 Mods also brought us the selectable bale capacities mod that lots of us are very, very fond of. Now, what is the multi-crop greenhouse pack? Well, it is a mod that allows you to grow just about every crop in the game in the form of in a greenhouse. And crops are separated up into five categories. And we're going to go over those when we look at the production menu of the greenhouse. In addition to having two large, two medium, and two small greenhouses, we also have two grape and olive orchards that we can pick from. We have a small production shed which has the capability of producing seed, lime, solid fertilizer, manure, and herbicide. And then we have in the big bag pallet format, we have four time capacity of solid fertilizer, lime, road salt, and seed. And all of these, while they are four times the capacity of the base game big bag pallets, we can freely pick them up and move them around because they are set to have a mass of just 100 kilograms. Also included are big bag bags of solid fertilizer, lime, road salt, seed, and crushed stone. So we have a 4,000 liter bag of crushed stone. Again, we can just pick that up and do whatever we want with it because it's only listed as having a 100 kilogram mass capacity. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff kind of in the shop. Under mods and DLCs is where we're going to find our pallets. So $6,500 for 4,000 liters of fertilizer. 8,000 liters of lime for $1,500. 4,000 liters of road salt for $650. 4,000 liters of seeds for $3,000. 4,000 liters of fertilizer in big bag format. $6,100. $1,200 for 8,000 liters of lime. $300 for 4,000 liters of road salt, $2,700 for 4,000 liters of seed, and a mere $150 will buy you 4,000 liters worth of stone. Then we take a look at what is available in the build menu. And the build menu under silo extensions, we have a supplementary water tank, and this is going to increase the capacity of any adjacent greenhouse by 10,000 liters. It is freely rotatable on center and is $3,000 to buy. Under production, we have under factories, the multi-crop greenhouse pack production shed. As I said, it is able to produce seed, lime, manure, herbicide, and solid fertilizer in a little shed, not too unlike what you might find in the backyard of your own house. Then under greenhouses, we have the meat and potatoes of this pack, we have left side and right side discharge large greenhouses. Same with medium greenhouses and small greenhouses. All same prices as the base game, basically. $2,500 on our small, so a little bit lower cost on our small greenhouses. Then $10,000, we have large grape and olive orchard. Rotatable 360 degrees, and again in left and right side discharge as far as our pallets are concerned. Now, if we take a look at this stuff in the production chains menu, you'll see that we have grain crops, fruit and veggie, carif crops, oil crops, and root crops. That is the five different grain or crop segments that are part of the multi crop greenhouse pack. Under grain crops, we have oats, sorghum, and wheat. Under fruits and vegetables, we have lettuce, strawberries, and tomatoes. Under carf crops, we have corn, cotton, and soybeans. Under oil crops, we have canola and sunflowers. And of course, under root crops, we have potatoes and sugar beets. 
For our large greenhouses, we have a capacity of 50,000 liters of water, 4,000 liters of seed, lime, 20,000 liters of manure, and 4,000 liters of solid fertilizer. And we are able to store 100,000 liters worth of product on our large greenhouses. Small greenhouses, or sorry, medium greenhouses, we have 50,000 liter storage capacity on our outputs, 30,000 liters of water, 2,000 liters of seed, lime, and fertilizer, and 10,000 liters of manure. For our small greenhouses, it is 20,000 liters of water, 1,000 liters of lime, seed, and solid fertilizer, and 5,000 liters of manure, and 25,000 liters worth of output products. For our grape and olive orchard, 50,000 liter water, 4,000 liters of lime, seed, and solid fertilizer, and 20,000 liters of manure, and then 100,000 liters of grapes or olives can be stored. For our production shed, we will accept 100,000 liters of all the incoming materials, and then we will hold 100,000 liters of our outputs. For solid fertilizer, we have multiple ways of making that. We can use manure and slurry. 1,000 of each is going to make 2,000 liters of solid fertilizer. Manure and digestate, same 1,000 liters of each for 2,000 liters. 2,000 liters of slurry or 2,000 liters of digestate is going to make 1,500 liters of solid fertilizer. Seed from barley, oats, sorghum, or wheat is going to be 1,000 of each grain, grain and 100 manure to make 1,000 seed. Lime is going to take 500 stone and 1,000 liters of water to make 1,500 liters of lime. Remember, this mod includes a big bag of stone, 4,000 liters for 150 bucks. Manure is gonna be straw and slurry for 2,000 liters of manure, or straw and digestate for 2,000 liters of manure, and 2, or 1,000 liters of herbicide for 1,000 liters of water, and 200 liters of road salt. Kind of an interesting mixture there. Now, overall, as these greenhouses will work, if you just supply water, you'll get crops. If you supply seed, lime, and manure, you're going to get more crops per cycle. And then you can substitute manure or solid fertilizer, and you're going to get the same output per cycle there. So let's take a look. We've got these all set up to output different things. Here we have 1,000 liters of soybeans. And again, all of these can be picked up because they only have a weight capacity of 100 kilograms. Over here we have 1,000 liter boxes of grapes. Very easy to get your grape on. All you got to do is supply water, seed, lime, or manure, solid fertilizer, and get yourself some grapes and olives. Here we have pallets of wheat, pallets of strawberries, pallets of canola, and pallets of olives. Now you may say to yourself, well, I don't want olives. I only want grapes. Why do I have to make grapes and olives? Well, that's just the way this mod is set up. But what you can do is, if you don't want grapes, well, then just set auto selling up and you don't have to worry about it. And then you can store your olives. You can set your olives to auto distributing, do whatever you want and however you want. So this is a pretty interesting mod, right? Maybe you don't want to grow canola, but you want to be able to make use of canola. Well, you can just put this down and basically configure this to go with oil crops. You come down here to your sunflowers. And if you don't want sunflowers, you just set this to selling while you have your canola set to distributing or storing. And then at that point, you're basically going to be able to produce pallets of canola. And then whatever happens with the sunflowers, you really don't care because that's really not what you're interested in growing anyway. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below of the multi-crop greenhouse pack. Again, this is by GH66 Mods, who brought us the Selectable Bale Capacities Mod. And soon, to a Giants Mod Hub near you, you will have the multi-crop greenhouse pack. And until next time, happy farming.